In this video, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to set up a Google account. The Google account will include a Gmail and 15 gigs of storage. So let's get to work. We're going to start by going to google.com. We're just going to hit sign in and we're going to create an account. You have a choice for myself or to manage my business and go manage my business. And at this point, you actually can either put a username or you can use your current email address. So if we had already set up tracygurney.com, I could actually put in my email address there, but we're not going to do that. We're going to set up a strictly a Gmail account. Put in your first name and last name and whatever you want your Gmail account to be. And then I'm going to put in my password and hit next. And now it wants a phone number. So I'm going to put in my phone number and hit next. I'm going to enter my verification code to say verify and there you go. Now I'm going to give a recovery email. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm going to walk you through as if you had no other information to give, but we will come back to here once we set up your domain and we'll use that as a recovery email. Fill in your birth date and your gender and, and then hit next. Okay. And then you'll get requesting more information, more options. Um, if you want to put your phone number across, I kind of like to, you know, just keep my stuff as personal as I can uh, while still using uh, Google services. So I'm just going to skip this for now and then I'm going to accept their terms. Two more options. Oh yeah. Customize my Google experience. I agree. And then I'm going to have a Google account and you'll see up here, there I am. And if I manage my Google account, I can go in there and put personal information and all of that stuff. I also have 15 gigs of account storage. So great. You've got your Google account and the first thing right here, you can access uh, your Gmail, your Google Drive, things like that. This is where we're going, Gmail. Once you're in Google Mail, you can finish setting up your new account by um, clicking on the Google account big blue button or you can look around in the Gmail um, area. If you go up to the top right, there's a gear with settings and if you want to see all your settings regarding your Gmail, this shows you all the settings. I am going to go through the accounts and adding an account on a different video. In general, you can add a signature by creating new. Also stuff like vacation responder. You can put a vacation responder. You could put in a text. So when someone emails you, they would actually have a re an automatic reply saying you were out of the office, out of town, things like that. You also can um, make sure that certain things like um, autocorrect spelling, um, grammar. These are all really good to make your emails more professional. And another one that comes in super handy is undo send, where if you um, send something and realize you forgot to add some information or it was to the wrong person or it was anything like that, where you want to recall that email, you can go in here, undo send, you can put up to 30 seconds and you have 30 seconds to recall that uh, email. A little uh, message will come at the bottom for 30 seconds where you can click on undo and it will not uh, send that email. So that's it for now. Make sure you go through this, save your changes. You can now start composing emails. If you would like more information regarding the settings in Gmail, just comment below, say, more Gmail settings and I'll do another video, which is a little bit more in depth. So what you should do is go in and start looking at your personal information, look at how they manage your data, your security, all that type of stuff. So now we've got a Google account. We can start creating things that are going to help us organize our information so that we have our passwords for all the things we're going to set up. And that's one thing I'm hoping that you did was write down your password for your Google account. And then we're going to actually put it into our Google sheet so that you'll be able to access it on any of your devices. So I'm just going to go in and make sure that my personal information and all my data is customized the way I would prefer. Thanks for watching and you know the drill. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification button so you'll get any update. And again, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.